Okay, so it looks like it's time for me to go ahead and upgrade from my current Samsung Galaxy watch, which is the S3 Frontier, a watch that I really, really like because of the rugged looks. So I'll be going from this to the newest Samsung Galaxy watch, which is of course the Galaxy Watch 3. Let's go ahead and unbox it, set it up, and see what we're dealing with here. So I got this at a heavily discounted price when I was purchasing my Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G. I feel like I've been saying that in every video. And I think I ended up paying about 130 bucks. And that particular price is of course because this is the large one, the 45 millimeter Galaxy Watch 3. The unboxing part of this video should be pretty short and very straightforward. I don't anticipate that we have a ton of things to cover inside. Case in point, we have the watch immediately sitting right at the top there as soon as you open it up. Now we're gonna sit the watch down for now and see what else we got. Obviously the manual as expected and of course the charging cable. And this cable looks like a type A to wireless mini plate for the charging. Back to the watch now and it does look pretty familiar. Reminds me again of my current Galaxy S3 Frontier although it is not as rugged. It looks a little bit more refined. Let's take a look and see if it has some juice in it and kind of power this thing on. So as a side note, I want to go ahead and add this. I typically prefer Samsung watches because of the traditional look that they have, you know, the round face and the rugged look and feel there. It looks pretty nice. The way I see it, it looks like a real watch. But anyways, please do me a huge favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button. That's a tremendous help to the channel. And I truly appreciate your support here. So the band here feels pretty premium and the stitching here makes it look that way. Also, you have this rotating bezel on the watch and this is one of the biggest appeals of this watch because it makes it so easy to just navigate apps or widgets. There are the usual two buttons there. So you have the back button at the top and the power button at the bottom, assuming that it's the same setup as my current S3. Now let me go ahead and pair this up with the phone here. Okay, so that's done and it's just going to go through some quick tutorials here, but this is stuff that I'm already very well familiar with. You can also use the same app here to manage quite a few things on your watch. Anywhere from customized faces to health related information and also fitness related information. Again, that's something that I'm familiar with because I'm used to doing that on my my S3 Frontier here. Now switching the watch faces is pretty much the same process here. Testing out that power slash home button here just to navigate through the apps. Like I said, you can still use this bezel and it makes it really easy to navigate through these apps. You can download different faces that you like on here and then you can use it depending on the type of mood you're in, just like you would with other smartwatches. You also do get sleep tracking, but I don't typically use that because I don't like going to bed with my watch on my arm, but you do get that option available. The sensor is located on the back of the watch and obviously the heart rate monitor and all that good stuff, you do have access to all of that info. And as of the latest news, both EKG and blood pressure monitoring have been approved by the FDA for Samsung watches. So I do anticipate that given that Samsung already does have those features implemented in the watch, they are likely to enable them in some type of software updates or software push out there. And by the way, this is one of the reasons so many people go and get Apple watches because they have these two features. So it looks like Samsung will be able to activate these things on their watches. We're just gonna close up the video with some quick specs here. So you do have that Super AMOLED display on here. It's running Exynos 9110, dual core and it's loaded with one gig of RAM and you also have eight gigs of storage. So you can actually afford to load a few more things in there. The battery is larger on this particular one compared to the 41 millimeter one. We are looking at 340 milliamp power on this thing. So that should last you a little while actually. It has a fairly loud speaker, you know, obviously Wi-Fi, GPS, and all that good stuff is loaded in here. Now, everything I just went through on this watch should be enough for you to be a little bit more familiar with the watch here in case you are considering picking up one of these. I hope this was informative and that it actually helps your purchasing decision. Please don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to catch you in the comment section, and I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And up until then, stay safe out there.